Welcome to Junior Achievement of New Jersey's marketing session, all about marketing basics. Hello and welcome to Junior Achievement of New Jersey's Women's Future Leadership Academy session, Marketing Basics. What is marketing? Marketing is everywhere. And we see marketing messages all the time. Think of some recent ones you may have received and where the messages were transmitted. For example, maybe you saw them over TV or streaming video, over the radio or streaming music, on the billboard, on your cell phone, or on your social media. Why do you think the marketer selected that particular place for their message? Did the messages you received produce the effect the marketer wanted? Did the message make you want the product? Because you noticed and remembered that message, the message was at least effective in getting your attention. Marketing refers to activities a company undertakes to promote the buying or selling of a product or service, draw in customers, and maintain relationships with them. Marketing includes advertising, selling, and delivering products to consumers or other businesses. Some marketing is done by affiliates on behalf of a company. Networking with potential or past clients is part of the work too, and may include writing thank you emails, returning calls and emails quickly, and meeting clients for a coffee or a meal. Professionals who work in a corporation's marketing and promotion departments seek to get the attention of key potential audiences through advertising, and promotions are targeted to certain audiences may involve celebrity endorsements, catchy phrases or slogans, memorable packaging, or graphic designs and overall media exposure. When do you think a company first thinks about marketing its products? Before, during, or after the products have been designed and manufactured? Good marketing begins at the very beginning of the product planning process, even though the re results are not known until after the product is shipped. Marketing is a continuous process. For example, before, people come up with a strategy and a message. Marketing occurs during product development, and it concludes after the product placement. Message development starts with doing your homework about what the organization needs to accomplish. Think about your audience. Who are the people you're trying to reach? You can have different sets of key messages for different audiences. For example, when company leaders must communicate publicly about poor quarterly earnings, they develop one set of key messages for investors, another set of key messages for employees, and a third set for customers. All of these messages are related to one another, but the most important messages for an investor to hear may be different from what employees need to hear. Identify key words and ideas you want to associate with your organization, product, service, or offering. These words and phrases may figure prominently in the messaging you develop to help you stand out. Your messaging should avoid sounding like everyone else. Key marketing messages are a powerful tool. They're the core of your business. Investing time in developing them creates focus, strengthens your brand, and makes communication clear and effective. That clear, consistent message is an important part of a successful marketing campaign. If you as a marketer have not defined your message clearly, how likely is it that your target audiences will get the message you want them to hear? The answer is not very likely. In marketing, the term messaging refers to how an organization talks about itself and the value it provides. Messaging is an important set of key points or messages an organization uses to communicate about something with a target audience. Marketers use these statements to develop materials for marketing communication, such as ad slogans, advertising copy, social media posts, press releases, and presentation scripts. The key messages that make up a messaging document should do the following. Express the main idea you want people to understand and remember about what you offer. Resonate with the audience you are targeting so they pay attention and feel that what you're saying matters. 
and articulate clearly and concisely what you need to communicate about. For example, what do you stand for? Why you're different? Why, what value you offer? And what problems you solve? The message content, as well as the voice, tone, and style of the message may vary widely depending on the organization's identity and what it wants to accomplish with the communication. Key marketing messages should be concise, Key messages statements should be clear and concise, ideally just one tenth sentence long, but not a long run on sentences. They should be simple. Key messages should use language that is easy for target audiences to understand. You should avoid acronyms, jargon, and flowery or bureaucratic sounding language. Key messages should be strategic. They should differentiate your organization and what you stand for while articulating the value proposition or key benefits you offer. They should be convincing and include believable, meaningful information that creates a sense of urgency and stimulates action. Message wording should be decisive and active rather than passive. Messages should be relevant. They should matter to the audience and communicate useful, relevant information that the audience finds appealing, not only on a logical or rational level, but also on an emotional level. Key messages should be memorable. They should stick in the mind so the impression they make is easy to recall. And finally, messaging should be tailored. They must communicate effectively with the intended target audiences. This means the messaging should reflect the target audience's unique needs, priorities, issues, terminology, relationship to the organization, and other distinguishing factors that might help the messaging better communicate with that audience. On your screen is an example of a marketing message that Junior Achievement of New Jersey used for Giving Tuesday, which happened on November 30th. You'll see the graphic that they used with the Junior Achievement logo, and then a description below. That is the marketing message that we decided to use for this particular campaign for Giving Tuesday to encourage our users to register and view our upcoming virtual New Jersey Business Hall of Fame. Take a look at that message text there, and you'll see that it is concise, simple, strategic, convincing, relevant, memorable, and tailored. Organizations may create messaging for different purposes. Corporate messaging communicates about the purpose and value a company provides to the market. Brand messaging focuses on how and what to communicate about a company, product, service, or brand. Product messaging expresses key selling points about a product. And crisis messaging outlines talking points for how an organization communicates about an unfortunate development, such as a service interruption or scandal. Here you'll see an idea of what the messaging framework looks like with the brand promise at the top followed by a positioning statement, understanding of your target audience, and then the primary messages that you try to deliver. And another example of a primary message could be an elevator pitch. You'll see three examples of messages there with the proof points, and then finally finish it up with a call to action. Two definitions that you should know about. A marketing campaign is a set of strategic activities that promote a goal or objective. And a slogan is a simple, catchy phrase that goes with a logo or brand to capture the appeal or mission of the product. You'll see three examples here that Junior Achievement of New Jersey used. At the top is our, is our slogan. Again, that simple, catchy phrase that goes with the logo or brand to capture the appeal or mission of the product. Here. Our slogan is empowering young people to own their economic success. Below that, you'll see two different types of marketing campaigns, each with a different slogan that is specific to that campaign. On the left was the campaign slogan that we used and the logo and branding that we used when we celebrated our 100 year anniversary in 2019. And on the right is the current marketing campaign that we're using called Inspiring Tomorrows. There are seven marketing functions 
Each marketing plays, each marketing function plays an important role in increasing the business's profits and meeting the customer's needs. The seven functions define the main elements of marketing from finance to sales. First, financing. Financing is raising the money to get products to market. Next, market research, gathering information on competitors and customers. Next is pricing, setting an attractive price. Product and service management is keeping product line healthy and appealing and meeting customer needs. Distribution, getting products to customers. Promotion, getting your message out to build demand. And then finally, selling, closing the deal and getting paid. Those are the seven marketing functions, one by one. There are many jobs in each of these seven functional areas. They include, for example, finance could be bankers, financial executives, accountants, and product development staff. Market research jobs can include researchers, survey designers, and focus group leaders. Pricing jobs can include marketing executives, researchers, accountants, and economists. Product and service management jobs include logistics workers, customer service reps, product managers, and project managers. Distribution jobs include sales representatives, transportation workers, delivery workers, logistics, and fulfillment specialists. Promotion jobs include product managers, project managers, designers, ad agency workers, and social media marketers. And finally, selling jobs include sales reps, retailers, e-commerce workers, store designers, and merchandisers. So what skills do you need if you're considering a career in marketing? You may be wondering if your skill set and professional strengths are a good fit for the field. Modern marketing is a very different world from the marketing of even just a few years ago, with digital strategies playing a significant role and traditional methods such as print becoming less relevant and less effective. That means that while certain skills associated with the field, such as creativity and communication, are certainly still important and applicable, there are a whole lot of other newer skills that our employers are looking for in their marketing hires as marketing continues to be digital. Key marketing skills can be broken down into two categories, soft skills and hard skills. Soft skills are broader and useful in many different career paths. Hard skills are more focused on technical abilities and familiarity with specific tools and strategies. Given that marketing is a very broad field, the hard skills you'll need to get hired will vary tremendously from role to role. These are some of the most common skills employers are looking for when hiring an entry-level marketing position. Soft skills are skills that you inherently have or can build. Communication, creativity and problem solving, attention to detail, interpersonal skills, leadership, and adaptability. Hard skills are things that you learn, either in school or on the job. Writing, data analysis and analytics, project management, research, different forms of marketing, such as search engine marketing, social media marketing, email marketing, and visual marketing. And finally, website management. Remember, you are currently the target of constant marketing messages. Becoming savvy consumers means recognizing and understanding those messages. Thank you so much for participating in this session, and we wish you the best of luck.